I've been so many places in my life and time. I know, I know, I had to. It felt like a coolie high moment. It's been a minute. I know every time I come back, I say the same thing. It's been a minute. But um, how's everybody doing? I miss you guys. Uh, Talking for Granted is going to start again next week, which is the first Wednesday in October. Um, just to give you guys some details. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm out front of my boy's school. It's a quarter to one. I'm here to pick them up. School has been rolling kind of cool. You know, it's had this little, a few bumps. Um, but that's to be expected. And uh, I'm happy that they're in school. I'm adapting. They're adapting as well. They're doing well in, in book work. Um, we can use some more work with some other things. But all in all, you know, it's, it's um, a great experience for them. Uh, and family alike. What I'm here to discuss today is a suggestion from one of my Facebook friends. Her name is Cynthia Lee hyphen Bay B E Y. If you guys can go in and, and follow her, that would be great. Cynthia Lee hyphen Bay B E Y. She basically gave me a suggestion last week or it might be a week and a half now um, and it was regarding natural hair natural hair in the workplace and you know when she she does a um, an actual commentary there's a video on Facebook regarding this issue and what it was basically about I'm looking for it now so you guys can go to it but what it was basically about was um, this young girl who I think was like 18, 17 or 18 or so and she was of mixed a uh, mixed background, mixed race and she I think was doing an internship at a news organization, uh, some station and she had natural beautiful, beautiful, big, big, big natural curly hair and when I say natural hair, I'm referring to, again, African Americans or those who are, um, who are of mixed background origin. One second, please. Yes, my love. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah. Mm hmm Hello? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's right. They stumping with the big dogs. I know. It's wonderful. It's a beautiful thing because that means that they're going to be ahead of their time, you know? But listen, I'm in the middle of recording, okay? All right, bye. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, I'm hoping not to do any editing, so you guys please sit through that little part or just fast forward through it. Cynthia, what's going on with your website? I'm looking for the article. Anyway, um, so the article basically, uh, the girl had a school project or something of that nature and don't kill me if I'm wrong but I can't find it and um, what she was asked to do by the school officials I believe they were was in order to do the project that she was doing to do something with her hair to kind of tame her hair because literally her hair was like this big it, it was it's huge you can't even get it on camera huge and the news media person thought it was a great topic she's a, a, a on-air um, journalist and they were off air and you know she just brought this question up for Facebook or for, or for social media what do you think was the right choice because her 
in her expert opinion, she advised this young girl that she should just tame her hair for the purpose of the project that she was going to to be in, um, since though since the um, the uh, people asked her to do so, and she wanted to know whether or not that was a, a good decision. And Cynthia gave a, a nice, nice excerpt on, you know, what her opinion was regarding telling this girl, yes, you know, that you should go ahead and basically conform for the sake of school or in other cases, conform for the sake of work. And I just thought that, you know, that was really, really a great, great topic. And again, I thank Cynthia for that. Her, okay, here it is. The lady's name is Monica Cuffman Pearson. M-O-N-I-C-A K-A-U-F-M-A-N Pearson. P-E-A-R-S-O-N. And what I'll try and do is link this. She is a journalist. No, 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 I'm so wrong. Monica Cuffman person is the person who Cynthia said never conformed. And apparently she has been wearing a natural hairstyle as a journalist in Atlanta for years. And that is like almost her trademark. And um, what she said was that you don't have to conform for the sake of the, the journalistic uh, duty that you have at your job. You are who you are type of thing and you can make that a thing of beauty, you know? Um, your hair is a thing of beauty. So I am still looking for the actual video of the lady who said that yes, this little, this young girl rather should conform and go ahead and, and move, change her hairstyle um, for the sake of the project. But just be advised that it is going to be on the actual video that I post, okay? I'll put it there. Um, and again, it's on Cynthia's page as well. It's just that Cynthia has so many posts here that I cannot find it. But what are your opinions? That's my question. What is your opinion on having natural hair? Now, natural hair, when you're talking about African Americans or those who are of mixed race. Natural hair can be a beautiful thing. It can be so much work and it can also be something that is just like so gorgeous. I have not done my hair in a few days. So I have them in just maybe I think 10 twist and I had a hat on because I don't just go out with my hair and twist that look like this. It has to be something that's cute if I'm going to wear just my hair in the twist before I release them. Or, you know, I normally wear wash and goes, but this is a twist out because I clipped my ends and I did some other stuff to it. But um, in the workplace, when you see someone who has natural hair and their hair is, let's say, frizzy or their hair is what people call nappy, I call kinky or extra curly. Their hair is not 100% um, well kept, let's say. They just started their natural hair journey so they aren't really used to how to take care of the hair. They're used to getting the hair relaxed or get it, having weaves or it's a huge step. You guys have to understand that for the most part women have been African-American women have been wearing their hair weaved or relaxed at least for years now. I mean, years. So to go from a relaxed state back to its natural state takes some getting used to. Even for me, I have been getting my hair relaxed I think since I was the age of 12 and my mom <laughs> my mom had to lie to my dad and tell my dad that it was just straightened because my dad was against relaxers. I had a head full of hair, just like big, big, bushy, thick, thick hair. And my dad wanted it to stay that way. And long story short, my mom could not tolerate me with 
I, I was so tender headed, which means that I just did not like to have my hair combed. It hurt. I didn't like to have my hair straightened or as some people say pressed with the with the iron, the hot comb, because I was so afraid that I would get burnt and I did on several occasions. And that's why even with relaxed hair, when my stylist would use the 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 um, curler, the curling iron, you would think I was an abused child. Like I would break out into a sweat. If we were all having a conversation in the salon, I would be the one that got quiet and just would clench up and he would be like, damn, Missy, what's your problem? Like who burnt you as a child? But I'm still that way until today. Like I really do not like anyone with anything hot around my head. But my hair was always done. I always wore it in a wrap. Um, my famous or infamous style for Missy was always the China girl style and I miss it but it was relaxed so once I cut it down to nothing but down to its new growth although I don't have a problem with having short hair um, it just took some getting used to the process of what it takes to make it shine because you don't use the same products that you would use let's say when your hair is relaxed or which some girls would use if they have a weave so that process takes a while and some people kind of never grasp that process what do you say to those girls when you see them or those women in your workplace when they're in the elevator with you early in the morning and let's say their hair still is, is, is wet and they have conditioner in it or let's say they've mixed two products together and those two products don't go together so you can actually see the white in their hair. It's not dirty, it's just some products don't mix together on your hair and it leaves like a white residue. What do you say to yourself when you see that? As all women, as all men, and especially as African American women or women of mixed backgrounds who have big curly hair. What do you say when you see that? Women with weaves. Three, two, one. So of course what happened, my memory card is too full. If it's not one thing, it's another with this camera. But anyway, what do you say is what I was saying. What do you say to those people who have um, who have natural hair and you see them in the morning with their hair natural? Are you laughing at it? Do you feel it's inappropriate? Do you think if you are working for a Fortune 500 company and you have natural hair that it's appropriate to wear it out naturally? Or do you think that natural hair is not a, a thing for the workplace? Let me know what your feelings are about that. You know, I can't help but give my two cents. My feelings are as follows. It's your head. It's your hair. If you're, it's your place of employment. You know what fits and what doesn't, or at least you should. And I feel a certain type of way, to be honest with you, about women who have clown red lipstick colored hair at work. You work for a Fortune 500 company, but you have your hair dyed or your weave colored clown red. Now, is clown red appropriate for some places? Sure. Clown red is very pretty actually on certain people and in its element. <clears throat> it's just like to me when people have on long lashes. Lashes are beautiful and especially if they're nice and and whispered, like the whisper type, not the thick, thick, thick ones. But there's a time and a place for it. If you're going out, if you are performing on stage, yeah, I think that it's, it's appropriate to have on lashes. But if you are in a 
work setting and you are simply there to speak on the phone with customers let's say or you are there to represent your client in any shape fat shape uh, form or fashion if you are teaching those things are just that's distract that's distracting I'm sorry clown red is distracting long eyelashes that might scratch somebody when you walk by them are distracting and that, that's just my feeling that's just the way I feel about it you work at Walgreens and you had them on over the summer I'm sorry not over the summer over the weekend and now you're deciding I'm not gonna take this off I am going to wear it throughout the work week distracting this current knows it can show up dark certain things are cool for work and for people excuse me and other things are not and I just really feel that there's a time and a place for everything however natural hair is not one of those things it's your hair it's natural and that's what we were born with why do we have to relax our hair to, and conform to what society feels is, is the look for women of color or the look for African American women? It's not the case. It shouldn't be the case. And again, rocking a huge, huge afro, like if I just took this and just picked all of this out, picked it out, picked it out, picked it out, and then set and rocked a big, giant Angela Davis fro, and then I went up on the, in front of the classroom and started to teach a whole bunch of second graders, that might be distracting. I might need to calm it down some. You know, the same way there's night makeup and day makeup. Why not night natural hair and day natural hair? Because come on, we can get this stuff big. It looks shrunk up now, but this stuff stretches out long, 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 right? We can get it really, really long if we wanted to. So just be, be, be cognizant of what your surroundings are and rock you, you know? People gonna wear red. People are gonna do what they wanna do. They still wanna, they're still gonna wear it to school. They're still gonna wear it uh, to court. They're still gonna wear it doing whatever that's not on stage live performing as a artist. They're gonna do it. You're gonna go to uh, Neiman's this weekend and see a black chick with some red hair somewhere in there. And guess what? It's her, it's her prerogative. She can do as she chooses. So for this lady at the news station to say, conform and do what you have to do and, you know, tame your hair because they asked you to, I don't see that. I just don't see it. So taming is something you you can do if you choose to it's not bad you know if you decide to do it on your own because you feel your hair is too big for whatever the the event is that you're you're in or the job or the workplace that it, where you're working that's up to you but for someone to come to you and say it's something that has to be done then that's where I, where I find issue it's almost like when my husband first started to allow his locks to grow out. Now, yes, at one point, having locks, it had a bad connotation. It was like, oh, you're dread, you're this, which took it from the the um, the Rastafarians, but it was dread as in a bad way, like you you smoke out, you you know, you drink out, you thugged out or whatever if you wore dreads. And 
we as a people made dreads fashionable and it's something that he's worn for a long time he enjoys them he still has them he gets some cut when, cut when he wants to and yeah you know there's times that he can kind of keep it up a little bit more but they're a little time consuming and you get caught up in life just like with anybody so guys aren't that um quick to run to go get their hair because i don't take care of of um pat's hair but you know regardless of what whether he pushes it back or whatever you know they are still nicely kept and people had people took issue with that at certain places in his past and it's almost like okay why because you're bald in the middle because you are george jefferson you find issue because he has a bunch of thick hair and and their dreads and they can grow back quickly and no they're not a bad thing they're a good thing and yes when you're at a certain location such as work he keeps them back he keeps them tamed has he been asked to do that at this particular um in this particular career no but he chooses to so it's the same exact concept do you have to wear your hair tamed or wear it you know not as wild no but it might make sense being that you're this particular girl's hair and I come, I'm kind of all over the place but again it'll be referenced at the bottom of this video the actual video that I'm referring to um, but I feel in summation that you do not have to conform when it comes to your hair wherever I work the next place that I work my hair will still be natural and will I wear it out completely and, and bushed up and, and picked out on the, let's say, during the interview? Probably not. First day, probably not. But, you know, maybe like on a Friday when things are a little more laxed and maybe if they have that type of, of thing where you can wear jeans or dress down date, then I might wear it out and still probably not full fro style, but, you know, probably out a little bushed out more. Will I straighten it some maybe if I choose to, but not because they ask me because I wouldn't work there if that's what they asked me to do. Unless those coins were looking extra nice. Nice. If it was for an acting role or something like that, hey, I'm there. But still never relaxed again, ever. So let me know how you feel about natural hairstyles. Would, do you think that, that African-American women should wear the, their hair natural in the workplace? If so, should it be full fro? Should it be however they like to have it, to wear it? Um, if not, if you're against wearing natural hair at the in the workplace, are you also against wearing clown red weave or clown red color? Are you against long weave down to the butt and in the workplace? But you know, it, it just like, let me know what your feelings are about that. You can't be for weave in the workplace I feel and against natural hair in the workplace that's like a whole nother argument to me but yeah I'd love to hear your opinions I, I can't um tell you what to, to think but mm, I anyway let me leave that alone anyway let me know what you think and um I appreciate it okay thank you guys so much we'll be back again next Wednesday with our regular episode of Talking for Granted with Rikia Wea and myself. And I'm going to finish reading my book. And I'm going to post this once I get home. Hopefully, no editing. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram at Missy underscore Mist and on Facebook at Missy Mist. On Twitter, Missy underscore Mist. All right? Peace out. Bye. Okay, really quick. I just wanted to come back to let you guys know that I found it. It's on Facebook and it's Facebook and it's WNCT Angela Green. And it was her post on September 14th at 8.56 p.m. And it says, natural hair or nah? Professional advice from one of our interns weigh in. And um, 
There are over 967,000 views and over 3,283 um, comments. And one of the people who commented on it was, uh, what is her name? Tamara Mowry, who's on the view, I'm sorry, on the, um, the view, on the, the reel with uh, Tamar and the rest of them. And she basically had a verbal exchange with, um, with this lady, Angela Green, regarding the advice that she gave to her intern, okay? So it's really deep. If you guys can just go to that page and, um, and just view the video. It's really, really um, interesting. And let me know what your thoughts are after you view that, view my video, and let me know what you think about it. And again, Cynthia Lee Bay, your your um, your comment that you made on here, although lengthy, was very very uh, to the point, and I enjoyed it. I, I agree with you. So you guys check it out, okay? And again, I don't know if you guys can see my little dirty phone here. Can you do that? It's WNCT Angela Green on Facebook. And again, her post was on September 14th, okay? You'll go peep that. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.